Hey guys, it's Danielle, and it's been a while since I've made a video, but here I am, I'm back. Today I am going to be playing my time at Portia, and I can already tell that this game looks like it's going to be very cute with all of the little animals that we have here. This little dude, flowers, they're like playing with butterflies right here. And that seems to be one of the two modes, or I guess, style of games that I play it seems to either be cute or horror. So this time we're going for a cute one. So let's get started. Okay, so it looks like we get to customize our character to start with. It, at least it doesn't look like we are going to have a lot of character customization options, which is good because I take forever to pick a character. Oh, I take it back. I totally thought those were different um, hairstyles. I will try to not make this take forever. I'm go with pink hair because of course, if I'm given the option, I always like to have pink hair. Mm. Might just like skip that highlight option, or I guess the white looks all right. I had pink hair at one point, and it was pastel, but the upkeep for such a hair choice is a lot more than I wanted to keep dealing with. So. Enough bleaching and eventually your hair starts to hate you. Okay. Okay. Uh, some of these are definitely interesting choices. <laughs> about that one. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Not really giving a whole lot of commentary on this, I guess. I don't know, I'm kind of like rethinking my hair choice. Oh my gosh, she can have like really long hair. <laughs> okay, pigtails it is. Do we want any skin decorations? That's really intense with the white like that. Mm. I think we'll skip that, okay. Ugh, names are hard. I don't know if randomizing like changes the whole character, which I don't wanna do. I should have been able to just think of this off the top of my head, but whatever. Choose my birthday. Okay, so it's just like the months. My birthday is on the 21st of a summer month. It looks like they put Halloween in summer. Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant 
thousand journey from Bonarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna follow this guy. So far, I am noticing that everything seems to be very colorful and cartoony. And here we are, your workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks tiny. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Okay, Alice, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Beach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth for a couple of tests. Wow, okay. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Prove my worth. That's a little bit rude. <laughs> okay. Ow, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Okay, either I am like really tiny or this house is like really big. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, uh, jump is space, auto run is the mouse wheel, and then shift, and then a directional key is to dash. We have a lot of stuff to fix. Apparently, I have to go meet Presley. Okay, glowing objects are most likely to be collectibles. Escape is for help, and then M is to see the mission target on the map, which is marked with a star. And there is some dude running this way. Is that the boatman? I don't know. Okay. It appears that I might have some mail. From Porsche Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Alright then. And here are some glowing things, so it looks like we can gather them. They are some sort of resources. I'm assuming for building and crafting. Since I'm getting the feeling that that is a lot of what we'll be doing in this game, I don't know a whole lot about this game. Again, if you don't know, I don't think I've mentioned it in this video. Um, but a lot of the time for games that I play, especially for YouTube videos, I just find things that I think are interesting. Um, like on Steam mainly, and then if I want to, I will buy them. And I did buy quite a few games during the Steam summer sale. I don't know why kicking this tree gives you experience points, but 
We'll just keep doing that for a while, I guess. I'm running out of SP, whatever that is. But I got some rubber fruit. And then, let's see. Commerce building. Let's look at the map. Did I get a worm? That's interesting. Okay. So, I am heading the wrong way. Oh, wait, no. I thought this was me. That is a carrot. Okay, it looks like McD's Jumpin' Livestock. McD's, that like McDonald's? Uh, here's my inventory. I do have a worm of some sort. Okay, I hope at some point, okay, it does look like at some point we do get to change clothes. So that'll be cool. Alright, so this is the handbook, which I'm assuming we will need later. And I already forgot what I looked at on the map. Let's see. So we are this dot, I think. And then we need to go here. So I'm not very far. Oh my gosh, are those llamas? Oh my gosh! Hello! Ah, they're pink and they're jumping and they're cute! Ah. Okay, I hope we get to like farm some llamas later. I'm so cute. Okay, uh. I'm probably supposed to gather some of this stuff for quests, and I am just sitting here gathering it when I need to, like, go to the Commerce Guild and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. I am getting really distracted, but hey, we're doing some exploration. It's all good. I'm just gonna go stomping through this town. Apartments, telephone. Ah, Commerce Guild. Okay, that really wasn't that far away. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? So well, since we didn't sleep so good. good, good. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws on one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. The guy's mustache is kind of into, like odd. I think it looks like he has like the SpongeBob movie, whenever the dentist guy is like, it looks like you still have some salad left on your lip, boys. That's what I'm feeling right now. Step aside and you won't have to feel the awesome wrath of our mustaches. You mean these? I thought you still had a piece of salad stuck to your lip from lunchtime. <gasps> okay, um... What is this? Gift exchange. Guidebook. Okay, I don't really care about that right now. Okay, so... We have some more. Oh my gosh, is that a pig? Wait. Hello. Oh, you've got little cheek circles and little, little bells. Hello. Okay, <laughs> goodbye, friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna get anywhere because I'm just gonna be so distracted by everything being cute. Let's see. We can dodge roll with the right click and e attack with left, which I don't have anything. There we go. I don't know what we're going to be attacking, but I guess we will find out. And 
here are the things I needed that I did not collect earlier. Is that a... Okay, I thought I saw a cow, but it's scarecrows. <sighs> like I said, I'm distracted. Okay. So, what is this? Assembly station. Here is our crafting table. And it looks like we need more stones and more wood. Oh, I was supposed to assemble a pickaxe. What do I need for the pickaxe? More wood. So we need more wood and stones. Can I just like, oops, didn't mean to open that again. Can I just hop the fence? Oh, that's so cool. It kind of annoys me when games won't let you hop fences. that. Is that gonna be something that attacks me? I'm gonna put on my gloves. That looks like a steaming pile of poo. So wait, you can gather it, but why? What do I need the poo for? Kind of concerned. Alrighty. We got some wood. And there's so many of these cute, fluffy, stripy llama friends. Oh my gosh, are those hermit crabs. Oh, there's some treasure out there. I wonder if these guys will attack me. Please don't hurt me. They don't seem to know I exist. So that's good. Oh my gosh, they're kind of spooky, but kind of cute at the same time. Okay. Oh. What? So... I get the feeling I'm not able to go in the water yet. I wanted to see what that chest was. But uh, I don't think we can. So, back to our mission. know if we need it anymore, so let's take a peek in here. Still need more stones, but we can make the pickaxe, so mm. I'm gonna do that. And then, now uh, what do I need? I still just need more stones from the quarry and the abandoned ruins. Okay. It looks like there's also one right here. So there's like actually quite a bit right here, so I guess I don't need to go into the places that it says that I need to collect them from. At least not right now. Okay, let's see. Yes. Our first quest, I am assuming. Ah, excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flick through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. That is where I am going to call it for today, guys. 
I've been filming for quite a while and there's a lot of different stuff to do and so I am going to go and I will definitely continue playing this game because I think it's pretty fun and there's a lot of different stuff to do so I think it will make for a lot of good videos. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!